crystallization or supersaturation, can occur through four processes. It can be crystallization by cooling, crystallization by adiabatic cooling, crystallization by evaporation, and crystallization by adiabatic evaporation. In this video, we will be discussing the crystallization by cooling and by adiabatic cooling. The feed enters with a solute fraction, Xf, and a temperature, Tf. After crystallization, there will be two outlet streams, the mother liquor, and the crystal hydrates, the mother liquor exits with solute fraction XL, and a defined temperature, TL. The crystal hydrates, exits with solute fraction XC, and temperature TC. In systolization by cooling, water is present as the cooling medium. It enters with temperature T1, and exits with temperature T2. Some examples of equipment, in crystallization by cooling, are pan crystallizer, agitated batch, and Swenson Walker. The difference with crystallization by adiabatic cooling, is that, no cooling water medium is present. Some examples of equipment, are vacuum crystallizers, and cooling crystallizers. These are the equations for crystallization by cooling. We have, overall material balance, solute material balance, heat balance, and enthalpy balance. Please take note of this equations. Note that cooling water is not included in overall material balance, since it involves only in heat transfer. This is the solubility data from Perry's. We can obtain the solubility of the solute at a temperature of the solution, which is Tl. Note that, you can also use interpolation of temperature in this table. Solubility here is equal to solubility of the solute, for 100 grams of water. So if we want to get the grams of solute, X is equal to 100 times S and finally, XL is equal to the solute fraction, solute, over solution. Heat here, is the heat of solution, take note, that heat of solution, is negative of heat of crystallization. In this problem, the solute required, is copperous. Let's solve first for solute fractions. The solubility data, are given. Using heat balance, we can calculate, for the required cooling water. We already have, T2 and T1, we have CP feed, TF and TL, we can calculate for C and F, using overall and solute material balance. For the heat of solution QC, we can look from the handbook. 